Hi, my name is Corey Richard Zawacki, and I'm an assistant professor in the Ecology and Evolutionary Biology department at Tulane. The research in my lab addresses the ecology, evolution, and conservation of amphibians. Some of the specific research questions that we're interested in have to do with how new species form. So we're interested in how reproductive isolation evolves during the speciation process and which reproductive isolating barriers evolve earlier versus later in the process. So to study that, we take advantage of the amazing diversity of color and pattern that are exhibited by the strawberry poison frog, Ophaga pumilio. So this species is found in Costa Rica and Panama, but in an island archipelago off the coast of Panama, um, they show an amazing diversity in color and pattern. So each island has its own sort of unique phenotype of the frog. The other really interesting thing about this situation is the islands were isolated from one another relatively recently, and so we think that sexual and or natural selection was probably really important in the process of diversification. So we're asking questions about the relative roles of those two selection processes in generating reproductive isolation. So we do a lot of research in Panama, but we also have a colony of these poison frogs here in our lab, which allows us to ask questions about the heritability of color and pattern variation, the genetic architecture of that variation, and also allows us to ask questions about the behavior of these frogs. So for example, we're studying the parent and offspring interactions in conflict because this is a species where both parents um, play a large role in caring for their young. Another major focus of the research in our lab is on the amphibian chytrid fungus, which is called Betrachochytrium dendrobatidis. So this is a fungal pathogen that's caused declines and extinctions of amphibian species on many different continents. And it does so by causing uh, a disease called chytridiomycosis. The aspect of this disease that we're interested in, in studying is how climate impacts the interaction between the frogs and the fungus. So how does climate impact when and where frogs become affected and how likely it is to lead to mortality causing declines. Another aspect of this disease that we're interested in is studying how um, the dynamics of infection at the community level change during the transition from an epidemic to an endemic state. So here we're taking advantage of a decade worth of data collected during and after an epidemic of this disease in Panama and asking how both host and pathogen change with time after an epidemic. So here we're focusing on uh, a positive aspect, which is that some very highly susceptible species have recently been rediscovered and seem to be surviving with the pathogen in the wild. So we're asking how these species are managing to do that. Maybe the pathogen has become less pathogenic or these hosts have evolved resistance, but either way, we're hoping that the outcome of our research will be informative for conservation and helping to protect and manage these species going forward. Thank you for taking the time to hear about the work that we do in the Richard Zawacki Lab. If you're interested in hearing more about our work, we invite you to visit our website or contact us. We'll be happy to talk with you more. Mm -hmm.